this is the, not really a lesson. This is uh, to answer the question, what's on Friday's quiz? The topics that I'm going to give you are in no particular order. This is not necessarily where they show up in the quiz. The first topic I want to talk about is vocabulary. These are some of the terms that we have talked about so far in this unit. Angle bisectors, perpendicular bisectors, medians, altitudes, the term of equidistant, to be inscribed, to be circumscribed, concurrent, point of concurrency, circumcenter, incenter, centroid, orthocenter, sides, we could say sides of a triangle, or we could even say sides of an angle, and vertex or vertices. So these are some of the topics. What you need to be able to do is you need to be able to match these terms with a definition. Another topic that's on the, the quiz is using a, a perpendicular bisectors and angle bisectors, medians, altitudes, and centers of a triangle to find the measures in the triangle. Some examples that are similar to ones we've done in the homework are, here's one of them, we have the triangle ECD, and I want you to find the measure of angle CPD. At any given time, you should pause the video so you could draw these down in your notebook and start working on the problems. The next problem is a quadrilateral, K-L-M-N, and the diagram is marked in a particular way that we know something about the point N, and you're asked to find the measure of angle M, N, K. Again, pause the video so you can draw this in your notebook and then start working on the problem. Once you've worked on the problem, you unpause it and move on to the video. The third example is this triangle, triangle QRS, and I have these segments that are all concurrent at point W, and it says W is the centroid of triangle QRS, which means those segments are something in particular. We're given uh, some measurements of these things. We've got that RW is 14.6. It's marked in the diagram. We're given the measure of the segment YW is 8.1. And we didn't uh, put the number in the diagram, but it's written, and I highlighted it in yellow, that the segment QZ is 21.3 units long. And you are to find the measure of the, the segment SY the measure of the segment WX, and the measure of the segment QW. You should pause the video so that you can work on these problems. And a little bit later in the video, you'll see each of the videos worked out in total. Here's the fourth example. Uh, it's the same triangle that we just saw a few moments ago, but uh, let's do something else in it. We've got some other measurements here. We've got 4x plus 3, 6x minus 11, and this 5x divided by 2. And what you're asked to find is the measure of Rz. Again, draw this picture, pause the video, work out the solutions, and after, the, when you restart the video now, you're, it's going to take you to the next page, and that page will have the worked out solutions. So pause now. Well, here's the beginning of the solution. So here's the first example, uh, the measure of angle CPD. And we notice that they were angle bisectors, so P is the in center, which means both those angles are 36 degrees. That whole angle ECD is 72. The big triangle ECD has 300, and, excuse me, has 180 degrees. So we take 180, subtract 72, subtract the 40, we get 68. And if we divide that by 2, we get that little angle in there, that angle PDQ is 34. Now look at the triangle CPD, and notice that in that triangle, we're just missing the one angle, so we take 180 and subtract out the 36 and the 34, we get 110, and that's the angle that's missing. And the second example, the quadrilateral, KLMN. Well, there's a 360 degrees in a, uh, a quadrilateral, and we notice that N is the point that is equidistant to the sides of the angle KLM. 
So therefore, that LN is an angle bisector. That's why I know that both of those angles are 62 degrees. And now, we just subtract all of those from 360, and we get that the measure of the angle MNK is 56. And now the fourth one. We have that situation where we've got the triangle QRS. We have those three segments, that, uh, and W is the centroid. That means each one of those segments in the triangle, QZ, RX, and SY, are medians. And since they're medians, we have the two-third, one-third ratio, which means if Y, W is 8.1, then WS is twice that, 16.2. And if RW is 14.6, then WX is half of that. And we also have that the entire segment 21 point is, uh, QZ is 21.3. So we divide that into thirds, and the smaller portion is one of those thirds, 7.1. The longer portion is two of those thirds, 14.2. Now that we have all of those pieces marked, we can answer the questions. SY is 24.3. Just add the pieces together. WX, it's marked in the diagram, is 17.3, and QW is 14.2, as marked as we marked in red in the diagram. And the last example, it was the same triangle, I had to shrink it down a little bit here. And again, like I said, those were medians. Since they're medians, the points Y, Z, and X are bisectors, and therefore... The 4x plus 3 and 6x minus 11 are equal, and we can solve for x. Once we have that x is 7, we plug that into the 5x over 2, and we again know that z is a uh, midpoint, so we've got bisecting going on, and so we've got 35 divided by 2. We're going to want a decimal answer for that, 17.5, and that's the measure of rz. So here are four examples, and then you also had all those vocabulary terms, and there's a few other problems, this is, um, but they're all similar to these types of problems that will be on the quiz.